Hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we are going to do the CLI and SDK follow along here. Uh, so let's go over to IAM and create ourselves a new user so we can generate some uh, AWS credentials. So, so um, now we're going to go ahead and create a new user, um, and uh, we're going to give them uh, pragmatic access so we can get a, a, a key and secret. Um, I'm going to name this user Spock, okay? And we're going to go next here. And we're going to uh, give them uh, developer permissions, uh, which is a power user uh, here. OK, and you can do uh, the same here. So our Cloud9 environment is ready here. OK, uh, and we have uh, a terminal here and it's connected to an EC2 instance. And the first thing I'm going to do is I just can't stand this uh, white theme. So I'm going to go to themes down here, go to UI themes, and we're going to go to classic dark. OK, and that's going to be a lot easier on my eyes here. Uh, and so the first thing we want to do is we want to plug in our credentials here so that we can start using the CLI. So the CLI is already pre-installed on this instance here. So if I was to type AWS, uh, we already have access to it. Uh, but if we wanted to learn how to install it, uh, let's actually just go through the motions of that, okay? So I just pulled up a couple of uh, docs here just to talk about the installation process of the uh, CLI. We already have the CLI installed, so if I type AWS, it's already here. So it's gonna be um, too hard to uninstall it just to install it to show you here, but I'm just gonna kind of walk you through it through these docs here just to get you an idea how you do it. So the CLI requires either Python 2 or Python 3. Um, and so on the Amazon Linux, I believe that it has both. So if I was to type in Pi and do version here, okay. Um, or just Python, sorry, I'm always thinking of shorthands. Um, this has version uh, 3.6.8, okay? And so uh, when you go ahead and install it, you're going to be using pip. So pip is um, the way that you install things uh, in Python, okay? And so it could be pip or pip3. It depends because there used to be Python 2. And so then when Python 3 came out, they needed a way to distinguish it. So they called it pip3, but Python 2 is no longer supported. So now pip3 is just pip, okay? So, you know, you just got to play around based on your system, okay? Uh, but generally it's just pip, pip uh, install AWS CLI, and that's all there is to it. Uh, and to get Python installed in your system, it's going to vary, but generally, you know, it's just if, uh, for um, Amazon Linux, it is a CentOS, a Red Hat kind of flavor of uh, Linux. So it's going to use a yum install Python. And just for all those other uh, uh, it, uh, Unix distributions, it's mostly going to be app get, okay? So now that we uh, know how to install the CLI, I'm just going to type clear here, and we are going to set up our credentials.